Tools by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the twirl filter in Photoshop. Run through a few things, how you can use it with selections etc. Now I'm just going to quickly go to the filter and distort and twirl. So I'm going to use it for this image and one thing you'll know straight away there's no feature for selecting, you can't do anything like that to move the center of the twirl. You can just apply the angle, you can go that way or that way and I'm just going to apply it that way Apply it obviously once, but you can of course apply it multiple times. Don't have to just apply it just once, so you can create some more interesting twirls by applying it like that. Also, what you can do, and I'm just going to quickly go back a bit, just going to go back there. You can apply it to channels, so you can just go to Window and Channels, just bring up Channels, and I'm just going to quickly go to the red and then apply that twirl, one that was just there before. You can also then Go to the twirl again, go to distort and twirl. Once you've actually selected the green one, you can see now you've actually had no effect there. So distort and twirl, and you can go maybe the other direction for that. You can then go back to RGB and you've got a slightly different and more unusual twirl then. Now I'm gonna get rid of that again, and you can also go to just gonna go to there and twirl again. Just apply a fairly extreme effect and then just go to edit and fade twirl. So instead of just going with that, you can of course change the opacity so it's slightly lighter. You can still see the effect, but you can also use different blending modes. Some work better than others. Difference, it's another option to create some very interesting designs very quickly using that. Also what you can do, a way around the problem with the center. What you can do, you can actually go for a selection, just quickly go selection there, and then just go to filter and distort and twirl, and apply the twirl there, and then maybe move the selection maybe somewhere else, and then apply the filter again. Of course, you could use different settings, you don't have to use the same setting, use different uh, selections as well, apply that and so on and so on. So you can create some very interesting twirls just by doing that. Also you can of course, I'm just going to go back again to that, you can actually combine the effect. Okay, just go down to the distort and twirl. I'm just going to use a slightly different one there. You can combine it with other effects as well. So just quickly go here, render or again distort, maybe use it with your eyes, apply that and then you've got a slightly different twirl there. But of course what you can do, you can just go back to distort and twirl again, and maybe just look the other way. Just to create a very interesting sort of, like a sphere there and the twirl within that. Also you can use it of course with other layers. So if you actually got this, and I'm just gonna go back to gradient, I can put that onto duplicate layer. Or maybe I'll use a selection, why not? Just use a selection, copy that, so I can create that, copy, and there. So you can actually see that as a layer. What you can do, you can actually twirl that as well. So you can just go to distort and twirl. Create some interesting different designs that way. And of course you don't have to do that. You can actually go to Alt, hold that down. So you've got multiple ones, and then apply the twirl there. Apply a different twirl. So I'm just gonna go to there maybe slightly there, and so on and so on. So you can create some very abstract designs using the twirl with just layers. And of course you can use it also with type. So type also can be used. So just type like that, and you go to filter, and you can go to distort. So just twirl like that, convert, to, let's just do that, apply that, and you can see, this doesn't show it there, but you can actually apply the distortion there and so on and so on. So there's a whole range of things you can do with the twirl filter. It's not just one sort of effect. You can use it multiple times. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.